Alan Simpson is uh, trying to sell a tax increase to a country that's overtaxed and where the government spends too much money. Mr. Norquist, a few weeks ago on this show, I spoke with Senator Alan Simpson. Here's what he had to say about you. Let's listen. Grover Norquist right now is the most powerful figure in America. He has about 95% of the Republicans in Congress in thrall, captured their minds. Guys who signed this baby back in 86 or 90 when unemployment was 4% and, and the debt uh, was uh, $4 trillion instead of 16. He can't murder you, can't burn your house. All he can do is defeat you. And if that means more to you than your country, for you to step to the plate as a patriot in extremity, you shouldn't even be in Congress. That was a characteristically subdued uh, set of remarks from Senator Simpson. Uh, first of all, is he right? Are you the most powerful man in the country? Uh, what he's noticing is that the tax issue is perhaps the most powerful issue in American politics, and that goes back to the Boston Tea Party. The American people recognize the government spending too much money, spending it unwisely, uh, not being a good husband of uh, resources, uh, and taxes are too high. So yes, the American people object to higher taxes, and uh, President Obama, with the help of Alan Simpson, were trying to enact a two trillion dollar tax increase on the American people last year, and the American people and the Republicans in Congress said no very loudly. Um, can I just get back to the very first part of Senator Simpson's remark? How powerful do you think you personally are? W was, was he right? Well, no, I'm not powerful. The issue is powerful. Americans for Tax Reform, the group that I chair, we offer to all candidates, Republican and Democrat, a written pledge, one sentence, I will oppose and vote against all efforts to raise taxes. If they wish to share that with the American people, not me, with the American people, the commitments to the American people, they do so in writing and they keep their word. They don't raise taxes because they recognize that raising taxes hurts the economy uh, and that what we need to do in America is reduce government spending. So the tax issue is very powerful um, and uh, Alan Simpson is uh, trying to sell a tax increase to a country that's overtaxed and where the government spends too much money. Uh, would you describe yourself as a fiscal conservative? Yes. Um, I, I thought you would say that. Limited, gov limited government person, yeah. Um, so what do you say uh, to the view that you have taken on the easy part of fiscal conservatism, the no new taxes? Uh, no one likes taxes. Uh, even Warren Buffett, I think, is not in love with paying higher taxes. Uh, but that you haven't done as well on the really hard part of fiscal conservatism, which is cuts. Um, two thoughts on that. First of all, uh, most recently the pledge came into play when Obama, Reid, and Pelosi wanted to uh, raise taxes by three or four trillion dollars and spending as well uh, in the last um, year. And what happened instead was the uh, Republicans because they'd taken the pledge and wanted to keep it, uh, said, we're not raising taxes. End of conversation. We are going to cut spending. Uh, there have been previous periods in American history. Uh, the immediate post-war era comes to mind when a generation of Americans has stepped up and said, our country has a big debt uh, and has a lot of building to do. We're going to pay high taxes now to pay for, to lay the foundations for the next generation. Um, I think that's what Americans did after the Second World War. Isn't there an argument that right now, with the deficit being so high, with infrastructure crumbling, now is a moment to pay in to the rebuilding of the country? I think if you look at American history, you can see that when tax rates have been reduced in the 60s, the Kennedy tax cuts, you had strong economic growth. Uh, when that was done in the 80s under Reagan, you had strong economic growth. When, in fact, you raise taxes under Herbert Hoover, for instance, you had lousy economic growth. Uh, as you raise taxes under Richard Nixon, you had lousy economic growth in the 70s. Uh, when you raise taxes, it hurts growth. When you have lower marginal tax rates, it's helpful to growth. Capital gains tax, people are particularly sensitive uh, to that. But it's also the regulatory burden 
uh, and the tax and spending uh, burden as well. So the, all of those things affect uh, how the economy does or, or, or doesn't uh, grow. We'd have been a lot better off uh, if we'd moved uh, towards more free trade, lower rates, and less regulation sooner rather than later. Instead of having it online, as Obama said he would, and he lied, as Pelosi said she would, and she lied, they specifically sprung it because they didn't want people to see what was in it.